Uh, I'm here with the uh, Casio 7500 and an iPad 2, right? The great thing about this, this keyboard is that it's USB MIDI compliant, so that all these, uh, these new apps that are made for the iPad and some of the other instruments uh, will actually, you can, you can play all those virtual instruments directly from the Casio. Now, what I've done with the Casio... And you is, can't do that with all brands. No, you can't do that with uh, certain other brands that are in this price range or even a little bit higher. So, from the smallest Casio on up that has a USB, and believe me, we just tried it on a WK200 over here. Uh, from the smallest Casio to, uh, to actually the Salviano piano over there, uh, you, can, you can use an iPad for, well, you can use it for sequencing, you can use it for playing virtual instruments, but there's a lot, there's going to be a lot more apps coming out. Now what I have on here right now is I have GarageBand. This was a program that cost $4.99, right? And, and what you're hearing now is just the iPad. The iPad is going through the internal end on the speakers, and I've got it hooked up to uh, the camera connector on the, on the uh, iPad, going into the USB port on the back of the, the Casio 7500. This first sound that you're hearing is a sound that you're hearing. So this is one of the pianos. Uh, if you look here, you've got, a, you've got another uh, grand piano here. The other exciting one on here is the electric piano. And this, this really sounds great. And I don't know if you can catch the vibe, uh, the, uh, the panning going back and forth from speaker to speaker like it used to on the old roads. And I've got uh, tremolo on. If I want to tip back that off a little bit, I can. I've got chorus. I've got a pitch band. Over here, this is my uh, Wurlitzer piano. So if I want some more chorus on there, take off the tremolo. Okay, and this is this is pretty exciting. Down on the floor, I have a foot switch that normally is used for sustain on the Casio. This also controls the Leslie. Okay, and then um, a clab. Let's, let's go to that. You want to control the damper? Some wah wah. Okay. Uh, now, if we go back to instruments, uh, I have my choice of uh, several different things here. I can have. Um, uh, smart drums, that's pretty cool. But let's start with the bass. So here's smart bass. There's a picture of a bass fretboard there. It's a Liverpool bass or a Hofner bass, uh, what uh, Mr. McCartney used to use. And here's a, a just I'm just picking a couple up random. That's a nice. Really that's nice a really nice five dollar okay. uh, bass. <laughs> so. All right. So, and, and then if I uh, go back over here to uh, instruments, uh, I can pick another group of instruments. So I'm going to choose uh, guitar. So we have my choice of uh, uh, acoustic. Down here you have open chords. All right. And then if you want, you can also have uh, electric. You got a like, nice clean guitar. Put some chorus on it. Do a little bit more uh, distorted guitar. See, it works flawlessly with this uh, and playing all these virtual instruments. And there's several other programs that are out there that can be utilized with this. And again, uh, you know, it's uh, it just shows the power of what uh, of what a Casio can do. All right. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome.